Hello everyone, Georgia is here, back again with me. So today I will show you how I make 3D model for skincare brand and to create your portfolio. But before that, if you want to have all exactly like this, you can join to be my patron, link down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and always support this channel. So Georgia is here, let's go move into this tutorial video. Alright, so guys, now first thing first that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete all of this. Click X, Shift A, and then I will add some cylinder over here. Go to the left side, you can find some add cylinder and over here I want to add it into 50. So it will be looks like that and then just set auto smooth, make it a little bit uh, longer, at least something like this. Alright, so now let's go move into the add modifier over here and then now I want to add some bevel. And this segment I will just using like 20 and for a month I will just using around like 0 0.01, just a little bit bevel over here so you can see a difference between. Click tab over here, go into the A faces, you will... Um, Grab it by clicking I and over here. So you can see what I click now. <laughs> click E for extrude. Just do something like this. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit higher. And then after that, just click E. Extrude uh, inside like this. So we can see it from here. And duplicate by clicking C D. Separate by clicking P. Click V selection. All right. So now. Uh, we can choose this object, extrude up this, um, at least something like this, not so high. Alright, now let's go move into this uh, and then I will add some loop cuts. Alright, Control R, so I will put over here, hold Alt and then Control B. So just make sure that will looks like this over here. And then after that, add some segment, just like at least 20 will be okay. So will be looks like this. All right. So after uh, after this, I want to duplicate this one by clicking Shift D, and then after that, I will separate by clicking V. All right. So now I will duplicate this one by clicking Shift D, and then click V for selection and separate. I will choose this one, make it a little bit more a uh, bigger than the original one over here. So just something like that, and then click tab, and then I will choose up this. Click E and then S. Click E for extrude again. So we'll be having looks like this. All right. So now um, after that, I want to add some lid using this uh, cube. Click tab using faces over here. Hold your Alt, Zip D. Grab it up here. Grab it a little bit up. Separate it again. And then now, uh, and then now we can uh, choosing all of this. Extrude up here, not too high, so just like that. Let's go back over here into this a uh, loop cuts, and then click F and then G and then Z, so will be looks like this. All right, so over here, I will duplicate this one. Zip D, zip run down here, just grab it down a little bit, and then after that, I will separate. Click V again, and then extrude. Just do it something like this. A little bit more all right now and then i will add a little bit some detail down here so it looks like that all right so guys now let's go move into this idea editor that i'm gonna using over here click new and zip a i will add some mix color some mix color over here and i want to choose over here and then after this add some color ram and then put over here Duplicate it and yep, I, oops, I will put over here, connect this into the roughness, connect this into the first one and then this best color. Zip A, add some image texture, put over here and then after that noise uh, texture and then put over here. Connect into the first roughness, uh, color ramp, sorry, and then the second one. Over here, um, over here, I will be using around 400. For detail, I will be using around 200. All right, so now connect this image texture into the second one, and after that, the color it's a little bit changing. And over here, I want to changing the color. First thing, I will be using some hex. The hex is like 8FA, and then 388. So it will be a little bit looks green, 
and over here I will changing also for the color um, is a CC and then 4A4 so it will be looks like this and then this is gonna look simple and now let's go move in this roughness if you want more like uh, looks like metallic or something like that you can move it over here but if you want just a little bit like dove color or something like that you can just put over here all right so now um, we can add more a little bit of uh, roughness over there so now it's yeah it's kind of cool and I want to using over over here also the color and this one so after this I will add some uh, image texture and if you have some a brand brand name or something like that you can using yours and over here I already have it let's go move into the uh, UV editing choosing this one and then now over here I will do a little bit editing and I will add some loop cuts Control R just scroll it over here want the second one was here and then here will be just uh, some some number for a uh, size uh, faces we're using faces all right so now let's go a uh, block this one all of this click a and then make it a little bit more smaller for this over here and then now we can take it back here we can take it back here and then let's go back into the uh, our comics name just grab it over up there and then make it uh, grab it more something like that just move it into the middle and we can put something like this and now over here I want to add another uh, loop cuts here and then here so now um, I want to choose this like that and we will uh, using this one over here we get more uh, bigger more smaller move it over here like that so now we can make it more like this and the last one for size I want to add it here move it there make it more bigger not so much we can put exactly like this here all right something like that and now the um, design for this it's really cool that we have it I will hide that one first and this one I will changing into the same color over here all right and then for a this one I will add just around some like some glass or something like that and then we have to go down to transmission bring up and we can see over here uh, we have to changing into cycles you know it's working like that all right so now let's go back over here and bring back this one zip a add some empty grab it more okay so do it something like this make it small All right. Now after that, just choose all of this, Control V, and then keep transform. And after this, I want to add some camera. Zip A, camera, Control Alt, and zero. Here I will using around 120. And then after that, I will bring this back a little bit far, something like this. Zip A, add some plan. S and the 9, put down here. Click tab, subdivide till 70. And after that, move into the add modifier, add subdivision surface. And the second one, add some displays. After that, click new. And then over here, using point 1, move into the texture. Here, changing into clouds and increase into 2.0. And after that, just click S and then Z for scale or resize it. And now we can uh, rotate this by clicking R. So I want to put over here. We can grab it up here. We can make it more. 
more bigger also we can do it like that and over here i want to do a little bit all right so something like that and now let's go changing over here and then just do it something like that for make sure this object looks cool and looks interesting to see and then interesting for buyer who wants to buy this uh product and after that let's go move into this material if you have some blender kit i will using some uh, desert sand so just wait a few seconds while downloading and then click here and will be looks like that so after this i want to add some grass and just using grass from a blender kit also let's write this grass and we can find it over here we will using this one we will hide this one first let's go back into the first one add some particle click here and then over here i will just using around like a 3000 and then after that let's go back into this group click this icon plus move it back into the particle go down you can find some vertex uh, group and after that just activate this and then move into this um, weight pane so over here we will using some weight pane and then i don't want having some a grass over here all right so it's all right so it's done and now let's go move back into the particles add render changing into the object and then move it over here oops all right so and then move it uh, over here i went to using this one and now we can increase this and using random scale or we can add it more like that just a little bit higher so don't forget to save your file this is looks cool here and then now let's go move into the world over here i will using hdri you can have it linked down below so now we can see over here how it looks like so it will be looks like this but i want to make it a little bit dark just using point 3 and it will be a little bit dark over here and then just i will hide this one first um, for the particle so we'll be just having this and move over here i will add some light zip a lights i will using spot just move it there and then rotate over here so we can uh, make it a little bit bright for this object and now let's go move into the light and over here i want to using like 10,000. let's try yep this is kind of cool make it more smaller not so big or bright like that and now we can put it back a little bit and over here i want to blend it make it up oops make it up a little bit like that and i want to duplicate over here and then over here i want to add something like another light so we'll be like that and then after that i will take it down all right so over here um if you want to changing the color of this grass and also this uh scent you can a uh, following this video or if you don't then don't <laughs> so over here um i want to changing this color and i already have the hex color over here and then yeah you can uh, you can following about this one and so over here now i want to changing this color into pink at least something like this and then the second one i want to a little bit uh dark And then after that i want to duplicate this one by clicking ctrl c and let's go move into this grass ctrl v and connect this and the color will be changing into pink and now let's see how it looks it will be looks like that and for the background also let's go move into the world over here world ctrl v and then add this color ramp so the color will be changing looks like that and then now over here we'll be just take it down a little bit and for this one i want to uh, move a little bit over uh, over there and now i want to add some rocks and i will using uh, from blender kit 
I will use this one. Duplicate it so we can move it over there. Make it more bigger. And then just put down here. Alright, so it looks like that. And we can try to edit more uh, bright a little bit. I think something like this will be a little bit a little bit more bright and looks better. Alright, so guys, now tutorial for today it's done. If you want to have file exactly like this, you can join with my Patreon link down below. Georgia is here. See you in the next video.